It's Lynn Smythe from The Creative Cottage. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're having a great day or afternoon or evening whenever you're watching this video. Today I'm going to do uh, one of my themed jewelry lots. Uh, kind of an unboxing, but it's also a themed jewelry lot. It's all this pink and some purple jewelry. I've put it together as this mixed um, lot that I'm going to be listing for sale on my eBay store. Um, I sold a lot of pink jewelry. I just sold uh, a smaller lot. I call it kind of like Barbie core because it's all the pinks and sparkly and glitter glitterly. Oh, I can't even say that word. <laughs> Some words just don't even try. Uh, <laughs> so anyhow, I hope you enjoy watching this video. Uh, I really like pink jewelry myself. Uh, let me see if I can get the necklace off that I'm wearing. So if you watch some of my videos, you see that I've been collecting some of the pieces parts and I've been on a couple of jewelry supply lots. Um, so this is a necklace I just made, was it last night or two nights ago? And I had this, uh, I think it was quartz, like dyed quartz or cherry quartz. I got that in a, it was just loose in a mixed gemstone jewelry lot. Then these little bicone beads were from a stretchy bracelet that um, broke in another lot. And I just thought those beads were really cool. And some of these beads are my personal stash. So I've got to get that one listed on eBay. Just basic bead stringing, nothing too fancy. Hopefully you don't hear any thumping in the background of this video. Um, I live in South Florida. We're in our rainy season and my apartment has had a major leak since uh, June 10th. Every time it rains, I'm on the second floor, every time it rains, water comes pouring in from my baseboards. So yeah. <laughs> so it's happened three times now after really heavy rainstorms, water comes pouring in. Um, and since yesterday, the roofers have been pounding around. So hopefully they're fixing it because it looks like it's getting ready to rain again. Um, so anyhow, here's my housekeeping that I do every time. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. That way I know people are watching my videos and finding value in the content I'm creating. And I will continue to create more videos for you. And if you want, you can click the notification bell. That way, anytime I have a new um, video, new content, um, you'll get a notification from YouTube. And um, although I do list the majority of the stuff on my eBay store, I'm always open to offers. So if there's any piece that you see that you're intrigued with in this or any of my videos, you can always reach out to me, sales at the creative cottage.net. Uh, just let me know which video you're watching, the timestamp of the item you're looking at and a brief description because chances are it's going to take me a couple days to get this video listed or <laughs> this lot listed so once i do the video i still have to go through and take pictures to put on ebay and because it's a lot i'm not going to do individual pictures i think ebay you're allowed to have 24 pictures total so i'll just do pictures that are representative of what's in this lot so this first item is a cute bracelet made out of pink and red glass teardrop beads. Um, it's a little extender chain and it's a, what do you call it, lobster claw clasp. And I finally got one of these. <laughs> this is a um, tape measure I see everybody using a lot in the YouTube videos. So I got a package, I think it's five or six, so I can put them everywhere and always have something to uh, measure stuff with. So this looks like you can wear this from six to seven, six and a quarter to seven and a quarter inches with the extender. So that's fun. Let's see. I'll clasp this. And I've got this necklace bar, that burlap necklace bar that I can also use for bracelets. I don't even remember what all I put in this lot. I just started grabbing all of the pink stuff and saving it. If you looked in my closet, oh my gosh, I look like a crazy person. I got 
bags and bags and bags of costume jewelry because I typically do it by color or style, like all copper jewelry or all rhinestone jewelry. But I've been getting so much jewelry lately that I like doing these colored lots. So that's a fun bracelet. Those big, humongous um, rhinestones. Yeah, acrylic rhinestones and kind of a rose quartz color and then this kind of coral pink color. I don't usually like the stretchy cord bracelets because the elastic can eventually give out. But this one looks like it's in really good shape. And um, nice thing about this type of bracelet, it's one size fits most. Which I like. I've got smaller wrists but big hands. So, like, I can't wear, what is it, the bangle bracelets? Most bangle bracelets I can't wear. The cuffs are okay. I can get those on. But most bangles I can't wear. Here's a fun ring, kind of a pinky, pearly, enamel, double flower, rhinestones, faux pearl. And this is a ring with an adjustable ring shank. So again, this is one size will fit most. Ooh, my nail polish is all chippy, but figure pink nail polish for a pink jewelry bundle. <laughs> you put that there. I hope this isn't tangled because I just started loading up this box. I had a purple bundle that I was starting, but I don't get that much purple jewelry. And this has a lot of pink in it, so I grabbed it and put it in this bundle. I like this. This is the simple, just little wire loops that you connect all the beads together to make this chain. This is These are glass beads, kind of bronzy colored amethyst color very heavy a b coating fuchsia color double strand very nice and it's kind of on a rose gold or is it copper or no more rose gold colored chain lobster clasp let's see does this have a maker's tag no it doesn't It's fun. You could go crazy wear all this stuff together. <laughs> okay, dokie. You might have seen this in another one of my videos. Um, this came in a gemstone jewelry lot that I won from, I think it was Shop Goodwill or, ooh, this light. Near my ring light. So this is like um, quartz, maybe? Like a slice of quartz, and it's been etched. It kind of has this Mayan or Aztec sort of face pattern. It's harder to see in the pink. I have this in green also. It's not as obvious in the pink color. So it looks like on the back. I think these are dyed, whatever these are. Or maybe it's glass. But it was in a gemstone jewelry lot, so... Quartz, maybe some sort of quartz, like rose quartz that they've dyed. And again, it's just these little wire loops and all hooked together. Yeah, because that looks more like rose quartz. And then these brighter ones, I'm guessing they just threw some dye on them. Let me see. It's very homemade looking, this clasp. Simple little hook. Yeah, that's interesting. Put that over here. I have to weigh this. I just got a scale um, so I can start weighing stuff. Um, I've been offering most of my bundles like for flat rate, small flat rate boxes or medium flat rate boxes, but I need to get some weight so I can also offer um, first class shipping. Save me a little bit of money. So I gotta weigh all this stuff. It was like pounds. A few, I'm guessing three or four pounds worth of jewelry. This is an inexpensive necklace. It's fun. It's just uh, acrylic pink swirl pearlescent beads with gold tone spacers, double strand, um, gold tone hook clasp with a little extender. 
Oh, and I just said I had a measuring tape and I'm not measuring anything because, yeah, it's about 15 or 16 inches. I don't know. When you get these big bundles, I don't know if it's as important to get measurements on everything. I figure if you buy the bundle, you can go through it and decide what you're going to keep, what you're going to sell, what you're going to give away as gifts. And it's kind of fun to make your own discoveries. <laughs> You could do an unboxing video if you decide to get this. So this isn't pink, but I just thought the pearlescent color went well. I've got, this is um, Lucite, Thermoset Lucite, or um, it's called Moon Glow. See how it's, almost looks like cat's eye, but that cat's eye is glass. This is plastic. So this is uh, Thermoset um, Moon Glow Lucite. I'm not sure the year, maybe 50s or 60s. Uh, I just thought the iridescent pearly color went well with this bundle. Um, they are clip-ons. Uh, yeah, this somebody glued glued those on there. Don't see any maker's marks. And I think there's yeah, I've got many pairs of the Moon Glow. Earrings in this bundle. What's going on with this one? So here's kind of a purple. Uh, are those scratched up? Or it's just a weird. Not uh, sure. I'll have to take a closer look at those. Well, I'm going to throw this in the bundle anyhow. It's kind of like when you get the huge mixed jewelry lots. It's not all 100% wearable, usable. But I was just trying to fill up this box with mostly pink colored jewelry. And we can do next. Oh, another one of these stretchy rings. So this one is fuchsia enamel, gold tone metal, bunch of rhinestones, an uh, elastic band, one size will fit most. There you go. <laughs> oh, here's another pair of moon glow earrings and the way you can tell these are more vintage or retro or um these are all screw backs or clip-ons um i don't see any of the pierced earrings in moon glow although that's not to say that people aren't making this nowadays i have seen that like the beads you can buy just the beads but most of the moon glow jewelry i've seen it's just like kind of vintage or retro. So this is in better condition. See how glowy that is? And that last pair, maybe they're older or, oops. They're a little bit duller compared to these. They're more vintage. <laughs> Showing signs of age. Here's another fun ring, blingy bling. Loads of rhinestones with AB coating, silver tone. Um, it's stretchy, but it's not as stretchy as these other rings. So this one, mm, you could probably wear up to a size eight, maybe. Let me see if I can get it on my index finger. Yeah, eight or nine. Nine's probably pushing it. Well, that's do I have? So here's a nice stretchy cord bracelet. It's kind of this pale pink or almost rose quartz pink, but it's got this heavy um, silver coating on one side. So makes it nice and sparkly. 
what it looks like on. Fun. I have a love-hate relationship with the stretchy core bracelets because especially if it's older, more re uh, vintage, um, this elastic eventually gives out. It gets brittle. It stretches out or it just stops snapping back. So if nothing else, you could use these beads and other projects. Like I was just showing you with this necklace I made the other night um, with a broken bracelet and then just added other beads I had in my stash. Rose quartz. A lot of these are very vintage old, old beads because I had a bead store years ago when my daughter was barely walking and she's in her late 20s now. So <laughs> that's some kind of Jasper, I think. These are real copper. Fun. These are just threw in there. Just a uh, really pale pink acrylic. I don't think they were moon glow because they're very lightweight. The moon glow is a little heavier plastic, but again, since this is a kind of pink bundle, I just thought I'd throw them in. And oh, I see writing on this. Let's see. Oops, upside down. Made Austria. So, I don't know if you can date them by that. Don't really know. <laughs> this bracelet's fun. It's, um,. Looks like ceramic, like little handmade ceramic beads, and then glass beads and crystals. Uh, I don't know what these are supposed to be. I thought that was cool, different shades of pink, and they just all looped together with the wire. And it's got the lobster clasp at the to finish it. And this is well, it's in millimeters. Looks like this is about eight inches long. Okay, trying to get this one hooked. Cool. I don't know if I have any earrings and I mean I have all these clip-on earrings I don't know if I have any pierced earrings so let me take my little earring rack out of the way there can always bring it back here's a fun double strand necklace these are really large Acrylic beads, faceted acrylic beads, kind of a peachy pink color, little gold tone spacers, gold tone chain, lobster clasp, and an extender. And don't see any maker's marks. Get another necklace board. These fit together? Yes, okay. okay. Here's a simple little stretchy cord bracelet. Um, pale pink. I think I got this in a gemstone bundle, so I'm guessing that's rose quartz. And then lightweight gold tone spacers. What that looks like and this isn't pink but I had this in a bag with those other stretchy rings that I think I get was gonna list it as its own bundle and then I decided to throw them all into this pink 
pink lot. Loads of clear rhinestones, silver tone, and one size will fit most. What else do I have in here? All kinds of stuff. Oh, here's a nice bracelet. This is a uh, pale pink cat's eye, glass beads, stretchy cord. Again, you could stack them up. Man, I have more in here than I thought. <laughs> now, although I'm showing it all just jammed and crammed into this uh, old box, um, you know, I could include the box in the listing. I mean, it's all kind of worn away at the edges. I think this is a handmade box. It's like a, I'm thinking it's uh, one of those cardboard uh, candy boxes or cigar boxes. Somebody covered it with fabric. This is padded, but just look at the sewing. It looks like it was hand sewn handmade. So this could have been somebody's grandma or great grandma that made this. So I will include the box in the listing, but to actually ship it to you, I'm going to package these all up in individual baggies. That way you won't get a tangled mess. They won't be like, you know, they could get scratched or whatever in shipping. So I'll do that. Yeah, see, I'm getting a tangle mess here. Oh, I thought this was a necklace. This is uh, another rose quartz bracelet, actual gemstone, big beads and little chips and silver tone spacers, elastic. This is a little bit big for me, so I don't know if they made it that way or if that means the elastic is ready to be restrung. You know how when the elastic gets old, it can start stretching out. So my recommendation would probably be to restring that one, but it's up to you. Oh, is this one necklace or two? Do I have a tangle? No, it's one necklace. I'm trying to untangle it. It's all part of itself. This is double strand uh, necklace. I guess what they call that when they float the beads like that. Kind of an illusion necklace on silver tone chain, lobster clasp, the extender. I don't see any maker's mark. But the beads are all uh, glass, and these are enamel glass. It looks like cat's eye, enamel, cat's eye, glass, silver tone, and just kind of keeps repeating. So that's real nice. I like those colors. A little bit more of a modern piece. Not as vintage or retro as some of these other items in this bundle. So you're going to have a whole nice collection of... We've got rings, bracelets, necklaces, and earrings. A lot of time in these bundles, you don't get as much variety. Um... I just got a bundle that I'm waiting to unbox. I don't think it weighed that much, maybe five, six, seven pounds, but it came in three baggies because um, I took a little peek. They put all the bracelets in one bag. They put all the necklaces in one bag and all the earrings, which sometimes are you have a hard time matching up the earrings, but they put all the earrings in the same bag. So that's really nice. It, one you're less likely to have tangles. That's not to say when I open up the necklace bag, it's not going to be tangled, but um, then you have a better chance of finding the earrings, you know, when they just throw the earrings in there all loosey-goosey. You never know what you're going to find. This piece is really nice, and I haven't been able to determine. I'm thinking the way this feels, it's cold, and it might be dyed shell. Originally, I thought it was plastic, but... It feels too cold to be plastic or acrylic, and you hear that? I think this is some kind of shell that's been dyed this bright fuchsia pink. Very nice, very... Look how pretty that is. Woo. And it's just got this little silver tone chain, lobster clasp. Don't see any maker's mark.
you. Yeah, see how each one looks a little bit different. It's all kind of swirly. And like on the edges, it almost looks like it's a little faded or like they took mother of pearl or kind of a white or off-white pearl and dyed it fuchsia. So that's my guess. Now these bangles I'm about to show you have already been in another video. Um, I did a thrift store haul video about a week or so ago and these bangles were in that video. Um, I'm going to keep them all together. I think they look well. Uh, you've kind of, kind I think they're all lucite. Uh, this one's kind of a pink swirly color. And then these two are more of the cranberry pink. Um, and these are the moon glow. Remember how the, been showing you some of the earrings, the moon glow lucite. So you could wear them individually or stack them all up. This is the kind of bracelet. I will never be able to wear if it was a clamper I could get it on um, I've got such big knuckles wide hands um, I can't get this over but if you made the bangle big enough to go over my hand then it'd be way too big for my wrist because my wrist is like normal size so um, yeah originally thought I would keep those but obviously I can't do anything with them <laughs> Um, oh, this one's triple strand. Uh, it's wood and acrylic beads. I've kind of got this opaly pink, cranberry red or pink, and then brown. And then, not sure what that is. Is that plastic too? Uh, with gold tone beads, gold tone chunky chain. And that finishes with this nice lobster, lobster class. And a little extender. No maker's mark. But see. These bracelets go perfectly with this necklace. If you really want to get all dolled up. Either way you put it, one's going to block out the other, so, hmm, there, <laughs> big jumble mess. When I saw this one at first, I thought, oh, it's got to be brand new, it looks very contemporary, almost looks like a watch band, and I was like, is this a watch? And it's not. A little silver tone, stretchy bracelet, a little rhinestone, a little kind of cranberry pink, um, Kind of like enamel, but has a maker's mark, Napier. So I recognize that brand. I don't know the age, because to me, I thought this was newer, but um, is Napier still in existence? I don't know. Don't know. Let's see. These cranberry colors, I really like that. I was really disappointed this wasn't a, a watch. I thought, oh, it's going to flip up. It's a watch. And nope. <laughs> What's this? Oh, this is a fun little bracelet. At first, I thought it was a uh, Alex and Ani. But it's not quite their style. This is polymer clay. See, polymer clay. And this designer, mm, Jill Zara Premium Clay Beads. Mm. Yeah, here's the thunder. I hope my roof has been repaired. I can't deal with another night of a leaking apartment because the problem is because the water's coming in from the baseboards and not my ceiling 
there's no way to stop it. You can't just put a bucket and like, oh, I'm going to sleep. You have to literally stand there, wait for the water to start pouring in and start mopping it up. So, yeah, that's fun. I thought all these kind of pinky coral colors looked well, so that's why I put them in this. Looked nice, looked well. My brain is thinking two steps ahead of my mouth, so yeah. If you hear goofy words coming out. <laughs> so here's a cute little kind of charm like bracelet, silver tone chain, um, silver tone charms, and a bunch of pink glass beads that they made into charms. So this is kind of stuff I want to start making with some of my pieces parts. I've got a couple of jewelry making supply bundles I got. I got a bunch of the chain, the head pins, the wire. And um, it really lends itself well if you only have one or two beads left. You can just turn them into charms and as long as they coordinate with one another. It's fun. And this bracelet I'm sure one size fits most because see these loops? You could put the closure anywhere on these loops to make it really small. And uh, really big. <laughs> What's next? Oh, I see more earrings, but I just threw them in there so they're all not matched up. I know I have the pairs for them because I'm the one that put this bundle together. That's why I said that's why I'm going to put everything into individual baggies so everything will be all matched up and be safe to travel. No, this is not an earring. This is just a button cover. I don't know if you can do anything with it, but it's pink and glittery. So I thought I'd include it. Oh, that's my cat. It looks like she's got laryngitis. What you doing, boo-boo? Yeah, here's another pair of moon glow earrings, a little white, three little beads. These are the little screw backs. I think these are quite old. Yeah. Go there. Oh, I don't know what she's looking at. Does she see a bug or she's looking at shadows on the ceiling? <laughs> Here's another stretchy core bracelet. I think these, yeah, those are glass. Yeah, these are all glass. Kind of peachy, pinky glass. Little gold tone spacers. Hmm, nice. Again, these little stretchy bracelets, you can layer them together, kind of go for a look. I like this one. I'll go good with this one. Okay, Thunder Boomers. I gotta go faster, finish this up. And here's some earrings I found in a bundle. I think these were handmade. It's like the beading wire, like the bead alon that you normally string beads on to make necklaces and stuff. There's just some uh, plastic pearls and some glass seed beads, kind of pinky and bronze. Uh, little gold tone fish hook ear wires. This is a very pale pink um, faux pearls, the plastic, not the, the glass. On a gold chain. And it's got the, what do you call that? Spring ring class. Oh, do I see a maker's mark on this one? Hang on. Get my loop. Oh, Korea. Like the country, or is that the name of a jewelry manufacturer? Uh, don't know.
here's a nice uh, strand of rose quartz, genuine gemstone, pale pink. Uh, I'm guessing that's probably silk or nylon knotted between each bead. And then it's got this silver tone. Fish hook clasp. Don't see any maker's mark. Cat, no, she's I've got this on the side of my desk and my cat just jumped up and she's playing with it. Say hello! Photobomb, there's my shadow kitty. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Here's another rose quartz necklace and a little rose quartz chips then some glass beads and bigger rose quartz beads and then it goes into triples is it triple or four one two oh, four strands of pale pink glassy beads and more rose quartz chips toggle class that could either be dirty or old and dirty or potentially be sterling. I don't see anything that looks like a 925 mark, but without testing it, I don't know for sure. Okay. Here's another pair of earrings. These also look like they're handmade. These are in the same bundle as the other earrings I showed you. Might be made by the same person. Just um, looks like some gemstone chips and glass beads on the gold tone wire, gold tone ear hooks. Yeah, what are you doing? Ooh, so I got a couple of nice rings in this bundle. So I found these rings at the same thrift store that I got those um, moon glow and pink swirl lucite bracelets, the bangle bracelets. Um, this is kind of a rose quartz colored glass stone, little gold tone surrounding it, then the silver tone rope, silver tone ring shank. I don't see any maker's marks. And this one is a uh, pink or rose quartz colored cat's eye with the silver tone rope. It is showing a little bit of signs of wear on the band, but I think when you wear that, you're not gonna really notice it. So let me get you size out, sizes for these two. The big chunky cat's eye one's about six and a half and this one I think that's C D C Z cubic zirconia this one's coming in about six and a quarter so really nice Cute. almost done almost done I can hear the thunder it's coming it's coming because problem is South Florida rainy season um, it rains almost every day and, but only like for not that long, like usually minutes, not hours, but it can oftentimes because of the wind, knock out your power, knock out your cable. So <laughs> I'm trying to finish this up. Here's another illusion necklace. It's pink cat's eye beads with little pink bicone crystals. Silver tone beads on a silver tone chain. And it's got the lobster clasp. Pretty long. I wonder, you could almost double this one if you wanted to, maybe. What's next? What's next? Another stretchy cord bracelet. It's kind of silver toned squigglies and some pale pink faceted beads. Mm. That one I'm not going to put on. The elastic is getting really wonky. I highly suggest you restring this one. See how it's kind of discolored? It's not 
not that elasticy anymore. And here's another piece I got in that um, thrift store haul. Uh, I actually got around five different of these uh, little charm bracelets. And I think I got an amber colored one, two black with gold, a red. And this one, am I missing one? I don't know. So this one's nice. It's a silver tone chain. And these are all glass beads and glass pearls. And this feels a little lighter weight. That might be plasticky. But that's nice. And it has the extender because it has these lengths you could really make it as small or as big as you want. I'm running out of room. Let me think I have two more pieces. Let me get my necklace over to show you this one. Not enough room. <laughs> yeah, that beauty. This also came from that same thrift store haul. Got a lot of great pieces from that shopping trip. Look at that. It's these giant teardrop shape or pear shape, pale pink or pale peachy pink stones. Big chunky silver tone chain. And. Oh, does this one have a maker's mark? Hang on. That's something. Oh, this is the one I can't make out. It's just like an S or a J and it's swooshy looking. I don't know if that's a different language or it's just the maker's mark that, I don't know. Who are you? I thought that was really nice. And there's a couple of bracelets that are kind of... The same color if you wanted to wear it together or mix and match. Nobody really likes to be matchy-matchy anymore, do you? Nah. Don't think so. Okay. And the last thing also came from that same thrift store haul. Which is surprising because, like I said, I don't oftentimes find a lot of pink and purple costume jewelry. Um, this particular store, I think it's because they don't really carry a lot of jewelry. It's kind of hidden way in the corner. I just saw it and was like, yes, please. So this is a really nice, um, strand of glass beads. Kind of like a, almost like an opal pink color or milk glass. And then all these amethyst colored glass beads and it starts off, oh, here's the clasp. Gold tone clasp that pulls out. And then the beads, I guess they're graduated, get a little bit bigger. Cool. Put that down there. Whew, I'm getting hot. Got too many lights on. <laughs> so here's my latest pink, mostly pink, a little bit of purple um, costume jewelry bundle. I'll probably call it, you know, Barbie Core Glam Think Pink costume jewelry bundle or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a writer. Maybe I go crazy with words sometimes. Everybody else is like, really? <laughs> Just be simple. So beautiful uh, bundle of pink costume jewelry. Um, I'm sorry. I can't tell you the definite ages on this stuff. I'm sure a lot of this is vintage stuff, you know, like the moon glow. I don't know if it's like 50s or 60s, uh, stuff maybe 80s and 90s, and then maybe some more contemporary pieces, but you can really have fun. Uh, I think there's probably three or four pounds, but I'll have all this information. You know, I'll put specific sizes and um, amounts. I'll try to list a lot of that in the listing. Um, but thank you so much for watching my um, jewelry bundle today. This is Lynn Smythe from the Creative Cottage. Thank you so much for watching. Have, have a great day. Bye.